Day 3 on Super Typhoon Maranti, which is located in the Western Pacific and is now a Category 5 Typhoon. Not only that, it's 180 miles per hour and a pressure estimated 904 millibars. Moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour, uh, it is the strongest storm of the year, but not yet the most intense, but that doesn't really mean much for Taiwan, for at least, and the northernmost Philippine Islands, where a Category 4 landfall is a distinct possibility, and who knows, it may well be even worse than that. Uh, nonetheless, uh, southern Taiwan is going to get real issues, as will China by the looks of things. We could see a significant typhoon making landfall there as well, and then the storm will curve to the north and gradually weaken uh, to a tropical depression as it approaches west of Shanghai and then um, perhaps moving out to sea as a remnant low though we don't anticipate that much will be going on beyond that. Um, there are warnings in effect, signal 1 warnings in effect for the northernmost Philippine Islands and the northernmost part of Luzon and for Taiwan there's no typhoon related warnings yet but there's the area of warning that you can see there and as time goes on it becomes less certain so the watch area in a large part and then that will shrink of course as the storm moves inland. For Taiwan there are some uh, heavy rain advisories in effect for southern and eastern parts of the island but no typhoon related warnings last time I checked. Obviously we'll keep you up to date with that. Sea surface temperatures are as follows, very warm all the way until landfall. Even in China, along the coast of China, very warm sea surface temperatures, 26, 27 Celsius. 26 of course being the general threshold. Of course right now temperatures 30 Celsius and that's probably most of the reason why it's a Category 5. Here's the rest of the reason. Wind shear is low and it remains low until that landfall as well. When it moves into China wind shear will then increase substantially but land interaction will kill off the storm anyway. There's the water vapour imagery. Looks wonderful um, from a from a scientific perspective I suppose um, in terms of the storm's composure a little bit of dry air to the north over Okinawa by the looks of it uh, but we'll take a look at that in the floater imagery a little bit more in depth here we are the storm moving off to the west northwest a bit of a northward jog initially by the looks of it there but then off towards the west northwest and what is there to say it's a very very uh, substantial st storm the eye temperature is very warm um, the, uh, the cloud tops are into the minus 80s, um, not quite as uh, low as they were a few hours ago, but um, yeah, the eye wall is looking very strong indeed, and that will remain so for some time, I should imagine. And this is what the Force 13 at Sue's page looks like, and you can stay up to date on there. We do text and graphical updates on the Force 13 at Sue's page, that stands for Storm Early Warning Service. There's the link at the bottom of your screen and uh, regular updates will continue on there when we're not doing these video updates um, and that again shows you the track there how the storm is expected to move continuing in the same vein really and possibly clipping the southern tip of Taiwan as a category 4 maybe 57 tropical storms have formed so far in 2016 around the world and 27 have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes or typhoons on their equivalents. 13 Category 3 storms, which as you can see is uh, higher than three other seasons right now, 1977, 60 and 69, and we're slowly catching up in tropical storm numbers as well and we'll start to see some movement in the table in the next few weeks it would seem. You can visit Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum and of course YouTube, Facebook and Twitter search Force 13 all in text on any of those platforms at Force 13 the Twitter handle and you can also add Fool13 FLOL13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's all for now, it's likely that we will be going live later tonight uh, don't know exactly when, but look around about 9pm UTC. We may well be going live. That's all for now.